In today's video, we're going to use interest tables to calculate interest. Uh, the first thing we need to know is what is interest? Well, interest is a fee paid for the use of borrowed money. Um, so you can make money off of uh, interest by um, putting money into a savings account. At that point, a bank is actually paying you interest um, for using that money. Or um, you have to pay interest sometimes if you take out a loan. Um, the, the interest is the fee to take out your, your original amount for that loan. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to talk about simple and compound. So this first table, we're going to calculate simple interest. Right? Now, what simple interest is, is the interest is only earned on the principal. Um, this is not a very common interest to see in kind of real world um, situations, but um, let's go over it anyway. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to number these years, one, two, three, four. We're going to talk about having money in a, a savings account for four years. Now the principal is going to be the, the amount we start with. Okay, The principal is always the, the start of the loan and the start of the savings account. And we're going to start with zero, but say we deposit just $100 in there maybe the second day of the year. So the rest of the year we have $100 in there. So our new balance is now $100. And for this example, we're going to deposit $100 each year. All right. And for this example, let's say that our savings account is real nice. It's got a 3% uh, interest rate. All right. Um, that doesn't seem like a lot, but you know, a lot of savings accounts now are in the 0.2% range. So that's, that's not a bad interest rate at 3%. All right. So we're going to calculate the rest. And by the end of this, we'll see how much interest we would have earned over the four years. So first thing we do is we need to calculate interest earned for the first year. We take the new balance and multiply by the interest rate. Now you need to remember that we can't multiply just by three. It is 3%, but in decimal form, it's actually 0 0.03 for 3%. Because remember, we have to move the decimal two places to the left because per cent is per 100, or we're dividing by 100. So what we're really doing is taking this new balance and multiplying by this to get our interest earned. So 3% of 100, it's nice and easy, is $3. Then our ending balance for a simple interest account would then be just $100 because we keep the interest separate from our account balance. Um, again, it doesn't seem to make sense, but it is something we do need to learn this year. So, going into year two, our principal is going to be the same as the ending balance for the previous year. So now we have 100. We deposit another 100 to get a new balance of 200. And now instead of multiplying 100 by 0 0.03, we're going to multiply 200 by 0 0.03 to get $6, and now our ending balance is 200. Now again, our principal for the next year will be 200, or the ending balance, which is 200. We add 100 to get 300. Multiply through to get $9. And 300 here. And I'm sure by now you can see the pattern 300 here. 300 plus 100 is 400. 400 times 3% is 12. And the ending balance is 400. So at the end of the four years, we do have $400 in our account, which is seen here, right? which that matches up our deposit sum. So if we added up all our deposits, we'd get 400. And that's what we expect to have in the account. Now with simple interest, again, the interest does not combine with the balance. So our interest would be in a separate place. And 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 9 is 18, plus 12 is $30. So our $400 account made us $30 over the four years. And again, we were adding $100 each year, so that does change that a little bit. So that's simple interest. Now compound interest, on the other hand, the interest earned does go into the ending balance. So we do expect the numbers to uh, rise a little quicker um, and a little more. So I'm going to just kind of keep this here and do compound right there so we can see the differences. We're going to do the same numbers, so the same uh, count terms. This time, instead of simple interest, it will be compound. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 100, 100, 3%, 3%. I guess I could go over and do my deposits all the way down to, okay. And now 100 times 3, we're still at $3. But this time again, we're going to add the new balance and the interest earned to get our new our ending balance of uh, 1.0, or 103, excuse me. So that's our new principal, 103. All right. Oops. So our new principal is 103. So then our new balance is we're going to add that to that to get 203. And then we'll multiply by 0.03 again to get our interest earned is $6.09. So you can see now 
we had two hundred nine dollars and nine cents in our account where after the second year in the simple interest we only had two hundred nine dollars so we have nine cents more there we're basically rich so now the ending balance again goes to the principal here 20909 we add that here to get 30909 um, we're going to multiply that by 0.03 again to get 9.2727 so 9.27 we're going to add that 0.27 we're going to add that to 309.09 to get 31836 that's going to be our principal. So now we're at 418.36. 418.36 times 0.03 to get 12.55. So $12.55. $12.55 plus 418 So we end up with $4.30.91. So we need to figure out how much interest we got. Now, simple interest, we calculated the interest separately. Compound gives us a total, which is the interest and the principal in one. So what we need to do is find out how much we deposit by adding that all up to get 400, and then subtract that from here to find out our interest was $30.91. So compound interest over the four years at 3% when we deposited $100 annually, compound interest yielded a 96 cent uh, more in interest than the $30 of the simple interest. All right, so there is a interest table for you.